So this isn't the usual stuff I like to make or talk about, but obviously I want to be as transparent as possible. So I thought maybe this is a good opportunity to talk about my psoriasis, my psoriatic arthritis, and my choice previously to be unmedicated and where I am now five, six years later. So if you don't know who I am, I'm Janine. Today I feel really awful. Like I feel like I am not at home in my body. I feel in pain. So I kind of wanted to talk to y'all about my experiences with it and how I've been doing with that, and maybe if you also have this or think you have this, it might give you insight. And if you're new here, I'm Janine. I usually like to talk about mental health, my experiences, and just kind of share whatever makes me me. So if you'd like to join along, feel free to subscribe and like. It does mean a lot. Yeah, like I mentioned, I don't feel very good today. So I feel very compelled to make a video like this because if you're also thinking about what you want to do, maybe this might give you some insight or might give you an idea of what would be the best choice for you. I got my first symptoms of psoriasis when I was around 21. After graduating, I basically stayed in the city where my college was. I was applying to grad schools because I knew that's something I kind of wanted to do. I stayed in at home a lot and basically just kept eating the way I did, which was, I don't know if it was very healthy <laughs> and it wasn't really uh, well managed. I didn't quite prioritize moving or exercise a lot and I also so happened to fall for my partner. I gained a lot of weight. I think I became around 200. I don't remember the number exactly but I know it was up there and granted weight kind of went up and down but firstly I kind of dealt with MRSA and if anyone doesn't know what that is I'll put it on the title. I don't remember off the top of my head. That came about and then shortly after, I started having rashes, and I was like, what the heck is this? So first they gave me a cream, and it kind of helped, but, but we did some tests, and a tiny skin biopsy, went to dermatologist, etc., and they told me I have psoriasis. And at the time, it's annoying, <laughs> like it was annoying. Um, besides my skin being patchy, it would be like on my face, as you can kind of see now, I'm having a flare-up on my scalp and various places. I tried to get on a medication like Otesla, but they really, the insurance had problems with it because they wanted to make sure that I used the cheaper options first. And I decided that, you know, I don't want to be reliant on a medication my whole life, you know, or like, I don't want to have to take that all the time. Even though when I did the samples, it did work for the however, like month or two that I started to take it. I did notice a difference, like my skin looked a lot better, but because of all the complications, I was just like, okay, I'm just going to try to heal it naturally. Because I noticed sometimes that when I went back home, because I was living in New York after I moved from my college town, when I went back home, that sometimes it would be almost gone. It's almost like it didn't exist. A part of me wonders if it's from stress reduction or if it's from more vitamin D from the sun, I'm not sure. Fast forward, there was a video I watched where someone just took vitamin D supplements and it went away. And I also tried that a little too, like a few years later, and it did help, but now it's definitely not going away on its own and it's definitely a lot worse. I didn't know that my psoriasis just on my skin could get worse and actually affect my joints. So maybe like you saw in the thumbnail, like right now I'm dealing with... At first I thought it was trigger finger because I had it in my middle finger. It is still a little swollen on the tip. So you can kind of see it bends a little bit more when I try to straighten my hand. Like I have to physically do that. That was the most recent one. I've had that for about two years and it recently healed, like almost perfectly healed. This used to be swollen as well, my knuckle. But now for some reason, like I thought I just woke up and I maybe slept on my hand and it felt weird, but then this has been happening for like the past week and a half. As you can see, it's very, very, very inflamed. It hurts to touch. It's red. I went to urgent care and they were like, oh, just you can take Motrin or ibuprofen and if it doesn't go away, like come back or find a rheumatologist to talk to. So that's what's going on right now. I also have trigger toe. I guess I can show it in a picture. I really don't want to. It's so not 
my favorite thing, but, and as you can see my face, it is extremely scaly. I tend to, sometimes the skin, like, basically psoriasis is an autoimmune disease, so it's producing more skin, or, like, the immune system is attacking the own skin, therefore there's constant new and dead layers. So besides flaking everywhere, which I'm not really proud of, and I have to vacuum quite often, so I guess I can also show that embarrassingly before I vacuum. You can see it's very scaly. It goes all the way to my scalp and you can kind of see flakes everywhere. It feels like constant winter sometimes when I just like literally shake. You can see it go down. Even today or like the past few days, my knee swole up or is really stiff as well and looks a little bit swollen. And um, I recent or maybe like two years ago, I dislocated my right knee because I assumed because of weight and I started going to the gym, so maybe it was that. But also, I had inflammation there, so I wonder if it's all related. Just starting to see some rheumatologists again, because before when I showed them my trigger finger on my middle finger, they were saying they wanted to give me a cortisol, cortisone, one of those, <laughs> cortisol something shot to help it go down. I really refused because I just, I don't know, I didn't want to rely on that. I, I like medicine, I know it works, but I was just very apprehensive. I even went to a more naturopathic doctor who believes in both science and other uh, different types of healing, and they were saying, like, I showed them my finger and my toe, and they were saying, like, oh, don't worry, it'll go away. They gave me some supplements. I took them for a bit, but they were very, some of them tasted really nasty. <laughs> and I didn't want to do that. I think I might have to compromise a little bit here in some regard. I didn't know that the psoriasis could get worse and actually affect my joints, and I'm only 27. This has been going on for six years since I was 21, like I mentioned. I think maybe weight gain has a big part to do with it. I did lose and gain and lose and gain weight periodically throughout time. Right when I graduated, I was maybe like 150. I shot up to maybe like 170-ish, and then it became 200, and then I went back to 170, and then I went back to 160 like the past two years, and now I'm 180. It really, really, really sucks. I feel so sluggish. Like, I feel like I can't... It, it's hard to walk right now because, I don't know, like my, my right knee just hurts. Like, I can bend it, I'm hoping it's not a dislocation. I don't think so, because I don't really go anywhere or too much. Yeah, it's surreal. I don't know if I necessarily made the best choice to not medicate. I mean, I know I made the best decision that I thought was good. And I, a part of me was thinking, like, oh, if I lose all the weight and become a healthy weight from my height, then maybe I will heal my symptoms. And... The person or the doctor at the urgent care was basically saying like, you know, sometimes it might not come down to diet. Sometimes it might just come down to like what you're dealing with and you have to respond to that. So two things I wanted to add is that if you choose to medicate or not, like all the power to you, you know, I don't think one is better or one is bad. I just wanted to share my experience and thoughts because... I know initially, like, I just don't like the idea of having to take something every day. Like, obviously, I just want to be healthy and happy. I also just didn't want to rely on the meds, and I got scared of the side effects. But I know, for me, right now, if I don't do something or take something, I am going to continue suffering, and I don't want that. So that's just a small disclaimer. And secondly, I just wanted to show a little bit of my symptoms. So you can kind of see my skin just keeps peeling. I also, unfortunately, it's gone to the sides as well. That's a bit more recent. But yeah, just wanted to give you a close look and also share that disclaimer. And then the other symptom, obviously, is my hand. You can kind of see it's like, it's more red than my other one. And then I have the tip here that is also kind of going inward than the other ones. And then I have my trigger toe. It's called dact dactylitis. 
uh, which I guess is a symptom of psoriatic arthritis. Two weeks later. Okay, so this is gonna be super shitty video, so I'll keep it very short and sweet. But I just wanted to show uh, where I am now. I filmed this video about two, three weeks ago. Just been delaying it because of work. Um, anyway, unfortunately, my finger is still swollen. I'm unable to push it up at all or straighten it. And it's just been kind of like stuck in this position. So you can kind of see how it is. Um, you can also see my knee. So this is my good knee. This is my swollen knee right now. Uh, it's very hard to completely straighten and it does kind of hurt and I try to avoid putting weight on it because one, it's hard to walk uh, leveled. So I use my crutches that you see on the side and then yeah, uh, right now it's just really hurts to bend and it's hard to quite lift it. It hurts also when I sleep and put too much weight on one side or the other. So I try to sleep on my back. But yeah, so that's the status. Really sucks. Skin is a little bit better maybe from the meloxicam and prednisone that I was assigned via my first rheumatologist. So let's see. I will keep y'all posted. And if you have any questions or if you want to share your experience, feel free. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I just really wanted to record because, well, one, I don't feel like doing anything in general, but at least I can talk about this before uh, starting the meds and we can see how it helps. And I recently had a family member who passed, so it definitely is making me think about health and really wanting to be a bit more proactive, even though I'm still struggling with other things. Trying my best and yeah, I just want to cry because I just don't feel good. Like I want to feel happy and comfortable in my body. I want to feel like I am happy looking in the mirror. I want to feel not in pain. Um, yeah, so... I'm hoping this journey and is a good start to that, and uh, <laughs> I'll let you know. <laughs> I'll see y'all later.